Logan, everybody, it's Harry Boxer, Technical Trader. It's Wednesday, June 16th. These are the charts of the day. Uh, starting out with Cirrus Logic CRUS, you'll, you'll see that this semiconductor stock has been in a beautiful rising channel, which originally was at this angle and now ex is accelerating with volume and technical surging as well. So building up and uh, gaining momentum. Top of the channel now measures around 19 and a half, 20. That's our trading target. As you can see, um, Yesterday it popped up near resistance. Today it slayed, took it out, and backed off. Only ended up 11 cents, but volume surging so are technicals. It leads me to believe we could see higher levels. A new one we found today is Dexcom, Medical Instruments and Supply, a uh, California-based company that uh, was in a beautiful rising channel as well until the beginning of this year when it went into a sideways uh, basing period or channel for a while. But today popped a dollar nine or 10.3 percent on uh, the heaviest volume on this stock since January when it peaked out here. So perhaps we're going to see some additional upside. My target on it is 14, where there's lateral price resistance. Frontier Development, a gold stock, which I uh, really like the pattern on, uh, which has been in a rising channel for the last year and a half. Recently has shown a, more, a, a tighter channel, but the breakout that occurred last week with strong volume has resulted in this rising flag pattern, which could result in a surge that takes us up towards the um, eight and a half nine zone my next trading target FSII um, which has been on a Fed 40 list for a while has um, had, had gone into a uh, coil type pattern in January February and early March broke out but then backed off in May when most stocks did um, popped with the big breakaway gap at the end of May ran up to resistance and backed off towards the gap held it and it's coming on again today up a quarter or six and a half percent but uh, challenging this key uh, lateral price resistance that have taken out could lead to a resurrection of the trend and a move that eventually takes it up to six and a half and then eight and a half. Those are our two shorter and intermediate trading targets on FSII. IDT Corp, symbols IDT, was off a little bit today, but wanted to show you the pattern. We had a price volume surge out of the uh, six-week coil that led up to a test of resistance and a slight back off here on lower volume, but if it gets through here, looking for a move that takes it up to 14 and a half, my next trading target. L and L Energy, LLEN, one of my current favorites, has deci decisively broken out across its declining top line of moving averages. Those moving averages are turning around and crossing over. Um, stock has been edging higher each day. There is overhead resistance that I wanted to point out around the um, 10 1040, that's the 50 day moving average, and then 1065, the uh, lateral price resistance from the um, snapback high in um, mid May. Beyond that, uh, targets are 12.5 and, and then 14. Up next is um, OVTI. Recently added portfolio position. OVTI today, it surged 99 cents on three and a, third, three and a quarter million. Strongest volume in a couple, three weeks, and broke out cleanly about out of this um, little mini head and shoulders basing type pattern. Um, is now headed towards the top of the um, mid range channel uh, and perhaps lateral resistance near the 24 and a half, 25 zone, my next trading target. But on a long term basis, you can see that the long term channel calls for a, a move that could eventually take this into the mid 30s. Questcor Pharmaceuticals, QCOR, uh, has been surging of late, but today exploded out of a two-week flag pattern. You'll see that the breakout occurred three weeks ago. A two-week flag pattern ensued. Today it popped 91 cents or 9% on one and a third million. Pretty strong volume for that stock, but more importantly, at a new all-time high today, 11.62. Um, it looks like momentum is, is st strong that could carry this into the mid-teens. For a trading target, let's call it 14. And lastly, it's Europlasty. One of our other current portfolio positions, which popped today, 60 cents, closing at the high for the day and breaking out of a six-week coil on volume of 800,000 shares. That's the heaviest volume all year. And um, matter of fact, the heaviest volume going back to September, October of last year. I'm looking for um, this to extend, and I have a target at nine dollars. Another 50% move from right here. Those are your ideas for tonight. Have a good evening. Good luck trading tomorrow.